takes them. You, you mentioned this now, you said 1,600 people, not representatives of the public, as the council to make this clear, there's a quite a significant number. But your people behind you, now people behind you, the physical people behind you, there's about 10 or 12 of them that are behind you, all that you have with you, not of my negative Maybe not all, that's not all, but maybe 20, or like 25 you just said 1,600 is not representative. 1,600. 20 people behind you. But you must have other people behind you. So you must have the masses outside who belong to the uh, Borough and of Public Services. Do you have 1,600 people belonging to that? How many people do belong to the Borough and Alliance of Public Services? Who do you think are on behalf of the people behind you? Are those people, so how many people are oh. behind you who are members of this alliance? Uh, we don't know. So many people are members of the Barnard Alliance. How many? How many counted, counted when the elections come? Yeah. Yeah. Are there questions about the report of privatization of the rest of our services you are going to do later tonight? Or is that about Barnard Alliance? Why don't you talk about the I do not know the total membership of the Bar and Alliance. I do know that there are many people who are not activists who oppose these plans. And I don't like the way Councillor Thomas uses activists to dismiss no, 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 people's opinion. Excuse me, the important point is that rich people who afford to pay for everything are satisfied with the council. The poor people who pay for our grand park and West Ham do the place where I live in private accommodation do not vote because they're not on the internet. Or they don't get the service, or they don't care. Right? Rich people are satisfied with your services. Poor people aren't, and they don't fill your surveys. This gentleman, I feel like this human right to this. No, we don't.